one-sided destruction. I got to be honest, I did not see that coming. I don't think most of the world did. That was very shocking to me uh, watching. To most it was. Um, was it shocking to you, Russ? You were in the corner. Uh, like You work with Mr. Aliyev. Was it shocking to you? Look, I mean, I'd be lying if I said it. I wasn't shocked, you know? I mean, I, of course, fancied our guy. I know what, what Bakram can do. And I thought, you know, they better not take, they better not sleep on this kid because he can fight. Uh, I was with him when he, when he, when he knocked out Jack Colke for the title and, you know, on hostile territory as well, you know, in Germany against the German. So I knew what he could do. But if you asked me, you know, to bet a dollar that, you know, we were going to blast him out the way we did, uh, blast you out the way we did and drop him, you know, four times in three rounds. And, you know, I, I, as a boxing man, I couldn't have said that I saw that coming, you know, especially after what we've seen from Tim Zhu, you know, his only losses to Fondora. Uh, you know, we know he had that, that bad cut on his head. Uh, he's a warrior. And I think the warrior, um, the, the warrior name stuck well with him uh, even through this fight because how he got up from some of those shots that he got hit with, you know, proved exactly what kind of a chin he has. And, uh, um, because, you know, Bakram really put some shots on him and, uh, but no, yeah, I was, uh, I was, I was shocked as well at how the fight went. I'm not shocked that my guy won because, uh, you know, I believe in Bakram a lot and I know exactly how talented he is and what he can do when he's on his, when he's on his game. And, um, I, I, I never, I never liked the fact that he was such a huge underdog against somebody like Tim Zhu. And I, I, I sometimes I wonder how people establish odds just on if they've heard from you or heard of you or not, you know, and that, mm. and that doesn't mean you can't fight and do a little bit of homework and digging and you'll find out that, uh, you know, that he's, he's a, he's a credible and, 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 you know, very gifted fighter. Always thought that he had, he had the puncher's chance. I thought if we were going to get him, we would get him late the same way we did with, with Kalke. Uh, I thought that, that I thought we'd have a similar pattern, uh, to that fight. Uh, people forget that uh, although it wasn't officially recorded, Bakram dropped Kolke in the opening two minutes of the first round with a left hook to the temple and went down. And the referee jumped in and said, no, no, no knockdown. And I said, oh, boy, here we go. This is going to be, you know, we got the referee against us as well. But in fairness, right after that, the referee never became an issue in the in, in the contest at all. And he he actually did a very fair job and he did a very fair stoppage. I thought I thought I thought they let this fight go on a little longer than it should have and uh, i started screaming from the corner to stop the fight because uh it was looking a little bit dangerous and and zoo was just so you know just hanging on like he was just ducking putting his hands up ducking down just making bakram miss to finish him but eventually you know you can't be in a in a firing range and you know you're going to make every bullet miss you you know it's not happening